A commonly overlooked structure is the anterior tibialis, that meaty section at the front of your, of your shin, uh, which, is, which is associated with all kinds of dysfunction from, it has a slight relation, it, well, it has a direct relationship to the patellar tendon, and it also continues on up through the retinaculum as the iliotibial tract. Uh, oftentimes, it's indicated uh, as a player in medial tibial stress syndrome or shin splints. And the, the idea is we just want to make sure that anterior tib is kicked on and firing and working because as we run or cycle a lot of times, we tend to be in plantar flexion a lot. Anyhow, in order to kick this anterior tib on, one of my favorite ways is just to walk on my heels with a fully extended leg, heel, heel, and I'm really just pulling my toes up. And the reason I have dumbbells is because as a strength and conditioning coach, I want to think through ways to affect more tissue than just one joint. So it's not necessary, but I'm going to show you a way that you can enhance the movement just by pressing. Pressing and introducing some vertical load into the system. Again, it's not necessary, but it's just a way to affect more tissue and get a little more work done. Basically, all we want, again, is the toes up, and I'm on my heels, full extension of my, of my knee, and I'm just walking. And if you do this, really pulling those toes up, you will feel that anterior tib kick on. So that's another great exercise to help reduce the risk of some common injuries.